This week's question comes up every time I'm in the classroom. When we start talking about wireless networks and we cover WEP and WPA and WPA2 wireless encryption, my students always ask, if WEP is so weak and easy to break, why do ISPs still use it by default on their home wireless routers? Well, WEP has a long history. WEP stands for Wired Equivalent Privacy. It was the first type of wireless encryption introduced in our home networks, and it began fielding in networks as early as 1997. WEP was introduced as part of the original 802.11 standard, and its goal was to provide data confidentiality equivalent to that of a wired network. So why is WEP so weak? Well, the way WEP is secured is by using a shared secret key, which we know as the password. WEP also uses a 24-bit initialization vector as part of the RC4 encryption scheme, though. And the problem is that this provides a relatively small field of choices that renders the encryption weak and easy to crack. On a modern laptop, the key for WEP can be cracked within just a few minutes. But if WEP is so weak, why do all the ISPs still use it by default? Well, we can blame the Internet of Things for this one. Many of these devices, like wireless thermostats, smart TVs, and other devices, simply didn't support the newer, more secure WPA2 standard. To prevent more tech support calls, the ISPs simply decided to go to something that everything supported, namely the more vulnerable WEP standard. If you have any questions for us to cover, please leave them in the comments below.